Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie, and today we're going to be making a blueberry swirl bread. I had made some homemade blueberry jam, um, some strawberry jam, and some peach jam in my bread machine. So um, I did do the strawberry and the peach on a video, so you'll have to scroll down and look for that video. I also made some blueberry. Um, didn't do a video on that one though. But today I'm going to be using some of that blueberry jam to make my blueberry, blueberry swirl bread. So I hope you stay tuned for that recipe. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Love seeing those. And hit the bell icon so you're notified of every video I upload. And give me a comment down below. And let me know where you're watching from. I would love to hear from you. So let's get into making the bread. Okay, I've focused you a little bit more on the making of the bread instead of on me. So the first thing we're going to add to our pan is one cup of warm milk. Already had it measured out, warm just a little bit. Then we're gonna be adding two eggs and these have been sitting out at room temperature. To the eggs in the milk, we're going to be then adding our melted butter, which is one third cup. I had to grab a spatula. So a third a cup of that. Next, we're going to be adding our salt. It's one teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to be adding a half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to be adding our bread flour. It's four and a half cups. And I am running a little low. I hope I have enough. If not, we'll go ahead and just uh, make up for it with regular flour. But I hope I have enough bread flour. Grab a knife so I can level it off. There's one. Two. Three. I washed my cups right before this and I think I dried them out, but I guess I didn't get them totally dry. And four. It's not wanting to come all the way out, but that's okay. I think enough of it came out. And a half. Get our half. I definitely had enough bread flour. That's a good thing. And the last thing we're going to be doing is adding our yeast. We're going to go with one and a half, two and a half teaspoons of yeast. So make a little indention here. One, two, and a half. I hope all of you out there are doing well, having a good day, making it through another day. If you are having any problems or anyone needing a prayer, you can always drop that down in the comments too, and I will be glad to pray for you. So we're going to pop that in our bread machine and we're going to choose the dough cycle. And 
and start. And an hour and 30 minutes, we'll have our dough. And then I will be dumping it out, letting it rest for a little bit, putting our jam on and um, rolling it up. Then we'll let it rise again and then we'll bake it off. So I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, our timer went off. So we're gonna pull it out and I'm going to just dump it on the counter and I'm gonna let it rest for a little bit. Let's get it out of here. Oh, she smells so good. I love the smell of dough. Bread dough smells so good. So let me cover that. Grab a clean towel here. Just cover that for 10 minutes, let it rest, and we'll be back. Okay, it is rested. And I was outside on my patio while I was resting, so I have no idea what my hair looks like. <laughs> so we're gonna roll this out. I got one pan ready. I might have to get another pan out. This might make, I'm not sure. It may make two loaves. I have never done this recipe before. It's very similar to something I've done before, but um, I think it'll probably fit in one pan. So let's get it all rolled out. We're going to get our blueberry jam in it, roll it back up, put it on my stove, a warm place, and let it rise again. So here's my blueberry jam. I've had it sitting out a little bit. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I've got more in the freezer, so trust me, I'm not using all of it here. It turned out really well, though. If you haven't ever tried making jam in your, it's more or less a freezer jam. It gets pretty hot in, in there. I'm not sure about the temperature, but you know, it's, it's not um, like canning. It's freezer jam, but you can keep freezer jam in your freezer for up to a year. So that's good. And then once you get it out and put it in your fridge, I would say, you know, eat it within a couple weeks. I mean, these little jars, surely you can eat that in a couple weeks. I can. So we're going to spread this on here. I'm not going to get it all the way to the edge. I don't want it to come out. So. It's just to have a little flavor instead of just being plain white bread we're having blueberry swirl bread and to get the swirls we're gonna roll it up oops there was a blueberry we better get that back in there all righty now you want to try to get as tight of a roll as you can Trying to go up and pull it as I do. Yeah, this is going to be bigger than my pan. I don't know. I'm wondering if I shouldn't do two. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put it in two pans. So hang on. Now, if there were no blueberry filling in here is just bread. I would just put it directly in this pan because these are wonderful. I've baked just regular bread in here. It dumps right out. But because there's blueberry in there, I think I'll spray it just a little. Okay.
Ooh, see? Messy, messy. Let's I don't know whether I should try to squeeze it in that pan. Just do one. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. If I do, I'll be cutting about that much, squeezing it. I think I might try to just put it in the one pan. I think I'm going to do that. I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll have to watch that now. But you see, I did line this one with parchment paper. Now we're going to get a lean towel and cover it and let it rise probably about another 40 minutes. Okay, we got just a few seconds left to go off on our timer. And this is what we have after we let it rise again. So it looks like she's ready to go in the oven. So we're going to put her in to bake at 350. I'm going to check it around the 45, 50 minute mark. Okay, it just came out of the oven and I baked it in a glass pan so it took a little longer. I'm hoping it's done inside and um, it dripped a little bit in my oven. So now I'm gonna have to clean my oven, but that's okay. It smells wonderful. So we're gonna totally let this cool off. Um, hopefully this will lift out of here good with that parchment paper. But right now, I'm going to take a little bit of some butter and I'm going to rub that all over the top. Get that crust good and coated with some butter. So when it does cool off, it's not going to break my teeth. <laughs> oh, that looks good. I can't wait to try this. I love bread and I love blueberries, so it's gonna be hopefully very delicious. I think that looks good enough. So we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna take it out of the pan and put it on a cooling rack. And, and we'll be back for a taste test. I wanted to show you that it lifted right out of the pan, no problem. So I'm just gonna get it off this parchment paper and let it cool. Okay, it's ready to slice. It's cooled off. Let me get the end off. Oh, it's cute. It's got a little bit of swirls through it. I like it. Aww. So cute. Look at it. Oh, it's really tender too. I love it. Let's taste it. It's really, really cute. I like the swirl. That's the first time I did a swirl bread. So I'm excited. So let's pull it apart. Oh yeah. I gotta get this little piece here. It's got some blueberry jam on it. Mmm. It's delicious. It really is. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. That blueberry jam gives it a little bit of sweetness, but the bread itself I'm tasting is a sweet bread. Mm. I love this. And the crust looks dark but it's just a little crispy but it's okay this is going to be so good this is good as dessert bread breakfast bread supper bread lunch bread anytime bread blueberry swirl bread i'll put the recipe in the description box
and you have to try it and let me know in the comments if you try it and what you thought of it. So until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.